The views expressed on the Midvale Main Street Theater podcast do not necessarily reflect the views of the Midvale Main Street Theater, its owners, advertisers, or volunteers. Super Trooper, things are gonna blind me, but I won't feel blue, like I always do, cause somewhere in the crowd there's you. This is the Midvale Main Street Theater Podcast. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Michael. Welcome back to the Midvale Main Street Theater. Coming at you from a very early, very sick uh, Monday morning here. <laughs> um, yeah, I, our Howell household is sick this week, so me and Ashley are both feeling under the weather. Trying to not get Salem sick, but we'll see if that actually happens or not. But yeah, um, just wanted to welcome you back and kind of go over what news items we have this week. It's kind of a light week, but we'll just go through that really quick and jump into the episode. First thing, and I just want to get this out of the way first, is that literally minutes after I posted last uh, episode, the the official cast list of Disenchanted went online. So I added that to the notes, but I did want to go through those really quick and actually give them the shout out that they, de- that they deserve. So um, yeah, as Snow White, we have Mickey Connor, Sleeping Beauty as Alexandria Zinov, Cinderella, Cassidy Ross, Belle as Carly King, not Luna. <laughs> those people in their, their sneaky, last names on Facebook, but um, Hua Mulan is Darcy Robles, Princess, ah, wow, Bad Rule Bador, <laughs> I believe that's the Jasmine Princess, is playing is being played by Pamela Jensik, Princess Who Kissed the Frog is No Lonnie Brown, Rapunzel as Taylor Twitchell, Little Mermaid as Taylor Heaps, and Pocahontas as Sarah Goldberg, so there you guys go, that's the actual official cast list, and um, yeah, thankfully enough, I didn't get any hate mail, so I don't have any of those to read, but you know what, still, if you guys have any hate mail, if you have any love mail, whatever else, if you want to just have your, your voice voices be heard on the podcast, email me in and I will read it on the podcast if it is appropriate enough. (laughs) So yeah, in other news, um, Adam's family young at part is still well into the rehearsal process. Um, And yeah, you know, it's been going amazing from what I can hear um, just from Ashley. It's just, it's crazy to me that um, there's always something going on at Midvale. There's always rehearsals. It's like um, a lot of people that were in Mamma Mia actually are working on Adam's family right now. Um, the rehearsals even overlapped a little bit. So while, the, while they went to rehearsals for Adam's family during the week, then they would come back and do Mamma Mia, you know, on the weekend. So a lot of dedication from, you know, Ashley, of course, but Cassidy, Ali, Christina, Jordan, Sarah, um, Ali, I think I may have said that, but whoever else is just, yeah, insane to me. So, um, Thank you guys for all your hard work as just a patron of Midvale Main Street Theater. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to see it. It's going to be an awesome show. So yeah, why don't we just uh, jump right into the episode now? Um, yeah, I got the opportunity to take my my recording device backstage, you know, before the show, during intermission, and after the show at Mamma Mia and got to talk to the cast and crew and, you know, um, kind of pick their brain and see what they're going to remember most about this show. Um, you know, it's always fun and interesting to me to hear what other people have to say about these shows that they're in because, you know, I have my own perspectives and everything like that, but someone else could be coming at the show from a completely different perspective and taking something away that's completely different than what I will. So, um, yeah, it was very interesting to hear what these guys had to say. Um, you know, it was such a fun show. I, again, just wanted to congratulate everybody on a great show, and I hope that this podcast is something that you guys can look back on and remember fondly. And, yeah, um, just awesome job guys you did great so yeah without further ado let's jump into the episode all right guys we are here it is closing weekend of mama mia but i'm here with todd how are you doing todd i am doing wonderful michael how are you good good i'm i'm kind of grateful that this runs kind of come to an end you know (laughs) it's not as fun for me up in the booth as you guys for sure but yeah um 
what not what are you going to miss but what are you going to remember most about this run definitely the cast it's been you know everybody always says like well the cast became a family it's so wonderful sure. like this cast is so tight and so fun together and i'm i'm there's going to be a hole in me when it's gone yeah so yeah hopefully we can maintain contact i'm sure well you guys and there's so many of you too you gotta you know at least one of you guys will keep in contact with each other yeah <laughs> yeah cool we'll break legs tonight and tomorrow it's gonna be fun thank you very much mike yeah no problem <laughs> dallin you've been on the podcast for a couple weeks in a row here so i feel like it's a little you know um selfish is the word i was looking for a little selfish yeah. i was cut off last time so fuck that <laughs> that's <Jeez>. right <laughs> well no. how's how's you've done tech a bunch before but how's it been for you this time it's been fun because <laughs> I get to dance along with this, where in other right. shows where I've done tech, I don't have the ability, and it would be very unprofessional because I'm very in the view of the audience, so yeah. not so much this one. But, I don't know, it, it's been fun. ABBA does get really sickening after a while. Not the show. I'm not saying the show. The show's great. ABBA writes some pretty terrible music. <laughs> Don't but, say that to some of the people in this cast, because they will, you know, form a mutiny. Dear Mamma Mia cast of mine that I love dearly, <laughs> your taste in ABBA music yeah. is kind of terrible, <laughs> but the show is great, and I'm going to miss dancing with all of you, even yeah. though I'm not on stage. For sure. Well, is there anything you're going to remember about this in particular? Uh, the fact that Julie became my best friend in the world, gotcha, and she doesn't sure. know that I'm going to stalk her the rest of her life. Well, now she does. Right. Julie, you have a stalker. <laughs> Julie's, gotcha. a goddess. Julie's a goddess. Julie's a Todd. goddess, says everybody. So and cool. Everybody. Well, yeah, break legs, Dallin. Don't get too drunk. Okay, Not we got a show to run, I've only so. had like two shots already, so okay. we're good. <laughs> All right, cool. I just I've been asking people what they're going to remember about the show, really. Nothing too crazy. So. I've, I'll tell you what I want to forget. <laughs> okay, what do you want to forget, JJ? Yeah, <laughs> I So it doesn't seem like your kind of music. Here's the thing, though. It, it's not, Yeah. but it really has grown on me. Good. Uh, Every once in a while, I like to do a show that challenges me mm. and a show that I don't necessarily uh, like. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Sure. It, it's, uh, but, it, but it's, I do have to say, Ava and Mamma Mia have, have grown on me. So is that Stockholm Syndrome or what is that? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So cool. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's been fun to, to watch to, for sure. You always are like so animated on stage and everything too. So yeah, break legs, closing weekend. It's going to be fun. So cool. Okay, I am walking into the craziness that is the dressing rooms here. So we'll see what happens. Anyone want to be on the podcast? No. No? I'll do it. Okay, Sarah, come here. All right, I am, like I say, backstage here at Mamma Mia for closing weekend. Everyone's sobbing and crying hysterically, including Sarah. How are you, Sarah? I'm doing pretty well. How are you, Michael? Good, good. <laughs> As you can tell, she's she's getting ready for the show. But, yeah, um, how's the show been for you? It's been such an amazing experience for me. Cool. I mean, I've never done a show that has had a run this long. Yeah, yeah. But with that being said, it's kind of helped us grow more as a family and as a unit, and it has only made our shows get better. So, Does it make it more comfortable, or does it kind of get too comfortable? Does that make sense? Yeah, um... I don't know. As like with how I am with dancing, I'm not a fantastic dancer, so I don't think I'll ever get too comfortable with anything. Um, so I mean, as far as that goes, it doesn't get too comfortable. Um, but I think I, I've definitely gotten a little too comfortable around the cast. That being said, <laughs> right, right. so there's that. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, yeah. Break legs. Closing weekend. Make these your best two shows yet. Thank yeah. you, Michael. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you. Ah! So we choose like if you Oh hey! Oh no, don't yeah. even don't even worry about it. I'm not here. Just keep talking. We're talking about, about chocolate. You're oh. with We're talking about chocolate and children. <laughs> Michael chocolate and children. Michael's not, uh, I hate chocolate. Um, actual Thank you. Human from this Chocolate's you know, gross. Aren't we glad I'm not the only one. one. And I hate I hate you cheese want. and chocolate. Okay, and then so don't you just crossed a line there. Um if if you want to Go for no, it. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So I've been asking people what they're going to remember most about the show. Is it Cassidy in her her Spanx and everything? Is that what it is? Um, yeah. No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was Allie, by the way. Allie the yeah. human, not the characters. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. Um, yeah. I think for... So this is Allie and Lisa, by the way. Right. And I think what I'm going to remember most about the show is that Ashley and I... We made up like this whole backstory <laughs> of Ali of where Ali and Lisa originated from, okay. and we actually we originated from Norway. Didn't you help me come up with that? And no, we actually we actually came here on a boat. So in the show it says we came here on a plane, but that's a lie. That's we came here on a boat, right. for sure. and our sh- boat actually shipwrecked, wow. and we <laughs> crashed on this island on this like. We floated away. <laughs> we got abducted on, by aliens. Onto this oh island, and like a lost situation happened where like we ended up on this island of Mamma Mia where all these people were like the dancing. Island of Mamma Mia. Where the like people that. were like dancing and singing, and all this crazy stuff was happening in our minds because we haven't slept or eaten or had water oh, in like gotcha. weeks because our ship just wrecked. So the entire show is a figment of your guys' imagination. Exactly. All right. Cool. I think I'm just going to miss. Right. The child never mentioned a check The line. child never mentioned a <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Have you ever watched her do that? No. Oh, in the wedding, every time Harry goes, I'll stuff the check, she goes, Child. <laughs> yeah, from, I love from it. the Grinch. When the Grinch is Watch like, mm. the child yeah. never mentioned a check. Okay, um, I will look for it tonight Mally's for sure. really good too yeah. at so positioning funny. herself um, where her back is facing the audience so that she can make all the best faces. And she's got like some secret dance moves that she does on stage gotcha. that no one can see but me, mm-hmm. which is great because then I have to try not to laugh. They're strategically placed. Right. Well, I'm very sad that we as an audience won't be able to see those, so... You Very watch sad. for them tonight, Michael. I will. Watch I will watch. All right. And if you guys haven't seen them, it's too late. So, because <laughs> this is airing after after closing night and everything. So, <laughs> exactly. From Ali and Lisa's mouth. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. There it is. All right. I am here with Camille and Andrea, Rosie and Tanya. Not in that. Yes, in that order. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? It's closing weekend. Fabulous. We're so good. We're so cool. So good. Not tired. <laughs> not tired. Not at all. Oh, you didn't go to the other one with Mia. No. Either. So that's good. I um I didn't either. I I love you guys and I love the show, but I a little bit too much ABBA for me. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Because as, as we are the age of ABBA, this is what I grew up listening to. Gotcha. So hence well, the fact that we fit. Speak for parts. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Anyways, I'm sure. Older than she, um, she is so much older than me, <laughs> but I loved to have it growing up. Sure, and I get that. That's that must be fun to yeah. just be able to do that for sure. Well, I've been asking everybody, what are you going to remember most about either the cast or the show or the run itself, whatever. Oh my gosh! I mean, the, the talent the here, cast. The, the cast. There's just like no drama. Everybody loves everybody, mm. and I feel like this is the glue to how come our cast is so brilliant and amazing. Yeah. Our cast's sound is vocally brilliant. It's yeah, just absolutely. tight. It's beautiful. So, number one, of course, Cassidy Ross. Right. <laughs> yes, of course. course. Um, because Cassidy Ross. She's going to try to right. everybody to say that. <laughs> Only if I'm standing next Second. to my recording. Yeah. Um, but actually, one of my favorite things about this show is singing with Andrea and Julie. Oh. Because I we, I feel like thing. we blend so well yes, and we, sure. we get along so well. We We're not. Do. If Jill is here, we'd say I mean, that. I mean, I like to, I like to pretend down. that I'm a diva, but really. I'm not. I'm not and either. And we're, we just, we're a trio. we love each other and we want to do shows together more because we yeah. just have had such we a good experience. I'm trying to convince my mom to do nine to five. Here, we'll, yeah. oh, uh-huh. I want to do nine to five. Wow, you heard it here first. I, I will. But, uh, go get Julie. We'll, we'll do Julie. Super Trooper. Because okay. that was Julie's request. Yeah, because we should. Cause hold I, on, I was going to say something. They're so distracting. I mean, um, but what I was going to say is just. 
I don't know. Okay. I don't know what I was gonna say. I can't remember because you guys. We love me. each other. We do. We, we're a blend. Yeah. We are. A, we're not just a single, you know. Yeah. Voice. We have a real a, bond. Yeah, yeah. We do. It's for sure. We're well, the dynamos. Yeah. yeah. Thank God for that. Could you imagine if you guys just hate each other for oh how long that this has been running? It yeah. wouldn't work. It really no. wouldn't. Yeah, it sure. would. Well, cool. I, thank you guys for coming to Midvale and you know hanging out with us. Thanks for interviewing us. Yeah. For this place. Yes. the podcast that no one listens to yes. Midvale Main Street yeah. Theater the first podcast interview I've done without pants me too <laughs> me yeah. too it's not well, the first interview I've here. done I do podcasts all the time because I'm famous right but usually I'm wearing pants right <laughs> well we have we have a name here at Midvale for people who are really famous so you heard it here first. Camille fucking Cook is yeah, on yeah, the Midville yeah. Mission yeah. broadcast. Yeah. And Andrea fucking, fucking Wood. Wood. Okay. Right. I was going to say Fife because I know a an, an different like person. really dirty. Her name is dirty. Andrea, comma, fucking, fucking Wood. Wood. <laughs> 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for thank hanging you. out for a second. Thanks so much. Super trooper beams are gonna blind me, but I won't feel blue like I always do. Cause somewhere in the crowd there's you. <laughs> it sounded awesome. It sounds even better here. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So cool. That was fun. It was. It was awesome. With you ladies. See, they, they we were saying. We were just saying. I love it. So much. That's my, my favorite thing about the show besides Cassidy Ross. <laughs> is, is, I am our favorite. Is, is singing with you two ladies. It's our fun together. And it's like, funny how we actually, start together. I'm like that. And my favorite I'm moment in the show is right. usually my solo, but in but this show, this my favorite moment in the show is when we sing Chikatita. Yes, love it. me too. And I get to hear you in stereo. I've got one on this side, one on this side. I'm like, no. Oh, and I know we're singing it. to you, so it's yeah. even doubly so special. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love all our songs. Makes me try. I've been like this ready. This well, Julie, I don't know if you want to be on the podcast. How? What can I do? I, all I'm asking is... Uh, Everyone's going to love and miss the show, but what are you going to remember most about doing the show? This horrible dressing room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. This horrible dressing room. <laughs> oh, we the dressing room is just the kidding. Part. Yeah. I, just I kidding. have to make honorable mention, though, of the opportunity that I have every evening to wrap my arms around Ashley and Allie and tie the bow on them. Because, God, they are just delightful and delicious. Yeah. Of course. Lovely. Yeah. There's yeah. too much I love about this, but one of the things that makes me giggle every single night is when Sam and Cassidy are out doing their lines, mm-hmm. and Christina and Todd are back behind mm. doing the lines, yeah. and she flips her hair. It's like one of my favorite parts of the Todd whole show. Todd. Hi, Todd. I heard my name. Oh, you were talking about me? Yeah, Dinah I'm talking about is actually Hello. one of my favorite people to watch backstage. You should see what we're doing She's when hilarious. you're doing Winner Takes It All. I want to know what you guys are doing. When you think Winner Takes It All, Dinah cracks me up. No, it's and, yeah. what they, and what I've heard that they do while I'm singing my song, too, oh, yeah. is just cracking me up. Thing. It's fun. Know, it's but funny it's what's fun. going on behind the I, I feel like when I <laughs> sing, everyone's backstage <laughs> just, like, drilling. Like, in all. so amazing. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And right. singing back. What? I can't even believe <laughs> We're like, I want to sound like that. I'm like, gosh, how does she sing like that? I know. I, I've got to learn happens. how to sing like that. Allie's looking at me like, oh, no. Oh, another favorite thing is when... There's two times every night when everyone is on stage except the three of us, and we get to sit back here and just be like, <gasps> and it's, and it's, yeah, there's no other people. We're kind of glad yeah. we yeah. Put, take a breath. Like and but we're old ladies, so we need that. No, I get it. My last show here, American Idiot, had half the cast that you guys have, and I was claustrophobic as hell. So I totally get it. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah. We do struggle with that. And it's not because we don't love everyone. We exactly. do. We just don't love... Just confined spaces. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mostly <laughs> Cassidy. Always Cassidy. We love Cassidy. Right here. Everyone loves Cassidy. Yeah. yeah. Do you like how I just go with it, though? Yes. Yeah. See, she, she's, she's my favorite. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everybody just loves Cassidy. We all do. <laughs> Exactly. All right. Michael. Like, exactly. Michael all right. Been married to me and played my brother. Exactly. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. All 
Alright guys, I found Jason backstage. It's like a freaking like He's found me. Yeah, well there's lost. so many people back here too is the problem. But yeah, closing weekend, how are you feeling about it? I am excited, I am sad, I wish it wouldn't go on at you know like shows that just I'm yeah. just having a blast. Yeah. Everybody's phenomenal, it gets better every night. Characters get Well, more especially with you three for sure. Yep, yep, yeah. Yep. <laughs> um well and I asked because this is the longest show in Midvale's history by a couple weekends, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I'm almost amazed that you guys aren't trying to kill each other. You know? No, no, no. So it's, that's a sign of a good show. Yeah. Is is so people can do it, they can do it longer. They get better at it. They're mm -hmm. more creative. Like so Ryan's brilliant. I mean, Julie's brilliant. Cassidy. It's like the whole thing. Everybody's just phenomenal. Right. That I, I just love to watch whatever happens because it doesn't matter. It's all it's all in and they're all good and it's. I mean, I love being on stage because it's. Yeah. I'm having just a blast. To, just to watch people for sure. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, that kind of leads into my question for you. Um, you guys love each other so much. It's been such a great show. But what are you going to remember most about this production or the run or rehearsals or whatever else? So. Um, Honestly, it's an emotional connection for me with everybody that's here. Mm -hmm. They're phenomenal. So it's there's like no drama. Everybody's happy. Everybody gets along. It's we're cracking jokes all day long. Sure. Um, I've never been in a show with a cast that's like that. Yeah. Not some type of friction or whatever. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm sure. It's well, super cool. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's been a theme for with everybody else, too. It's just been an awesome run. So, congratulations on an awesome show. Break some legs tonight and tomorrow. So, yeah. Right Thanks for hanging out. Okay. <laughs> All right. I am back here with Ryan. He is a mainstay on the Midville Main Street Theater podcast, but how are you doing? It's closing weekend. How are you feeling? Um, I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotcha, sure. I've, I've been busy, but I'm sad that this is ending, so... Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, sure. Well, um, this is... I mean, we, we've heard on the podcast, even, that you're so, you've been so excited for this part in the show. What about it has been, like... What about it was so exciting for you to try and, like, tackle and everything? Uh, well, <clears throat> I wanted to play the part since I saw the tour. And I was like, this is the perfect part for me. So this is what I went for, and I got it. Um... I was excited, but I was also really nervous because I didn't have as much rehearsal time as other people did because I was, um, I worked down at the Orm Hale. Sure. And so when I got dropped into everything, it was kind of almost right before we opened and I felt like I was, I was very lost and I couldn't figure out my character. Um, and once I, once everything clicked and everything started making sense and I started picking up where, where I needed to do certain things, then it was great. So yeah. now I feel great about everything because the longer we've run, the, the better, yeah. the better it's gotten, and the more confident I get. Right. So. Well, and even Jason was saying the more comfortable just everyone's getting with being their characters and everything. Yeah, so yeah. It makes sense for sure. Yeah. Well, um, since this is such a big part for you and you know such an awesome show, what are you going to remember most about it? Um. Probably. Yeah, Probably the, peop the, the people. It's <laughs> the new Cassidy. Everyone, Cassidy's been doing the everyone, same for everybody yeah. else. Everyone I got to work with on the show has been so much fun and fantastic. And yeah. even if we, even if I didn't get to know them during rehearsals, we got to know each other during the run. Mm -hmm. The dads have a really good rapport. I have a really good rapport with Donna, and I, I think that's what I'm going to miss the most <laughs> is that, is that being on stage and just being super, super, super comfortable. Connected with everybody. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, congratulations on your, you know, dream part and, and having such an awesome show and everything. And, yeah, it's been so much fun. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I need to get in the bathroom. No. Well, you can wait for the bathroom. All right. Getting out of the family drama. Taylor. All right. I am here in this very loud girls part of the dressing room, but hanging out with Taylor Lawrence, or Heaps, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, Taylor Lawrence Heaps, exactly. How are you? It's closing. Uh, Cassidy is like a little gnome in the background, but um, yeah, how are you, Taylor Heaps? I'm feeling great. How are you doing? Good. Good. It's closing weekend. How are you feeling about that? It's I'm. It's, it's bittersweet because I'm tired after a five-week run. Yeah. But... But it's my birthday. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. Totally forgot about that. 
That is okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, did you do anything fun for your birthday today? I took my daughter to her costume parade at, at, for her kindergarten costume parade. Gotcha. And she was uh, Harry Potter? She was Harry Potter, Potter, not Hermione. Gotcha. That's... Well, yeah, you have to make the distinction. First. Yes. Cool. Well, I've been asking everybody, what, besides Cassidy Ross, are you going to remember most about this production? Um, Cassidy Taylor Ross. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Thought we'd get away from no. it. <laughs> um, I will always re- remember. Um, Waterloo. Doing Waterloo, I feel like you can't do this show without Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all we'll say on that matter. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. Sina, I've been giving other people the option, but you're going to have to do this. Oh, so. no. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? It's closing weekend. She's making drinks right now, but how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling decent. Good. Good. Excited or nervous or sad about the show being over or anything? Um, I mean, I'm sure I will be sad because I love these people so much and I've enjoyed doing this show a lot. But at the same time, it's been five weeks and my voice feels like it's going to fucking die. Yeah. Well, I'm amazed because like a lot of people that I've talked to already have said that they still like this cast after five weeks. I don't understand. No, I don't get it either. Yeah, I'm in another. I'll I'll make another one. Well, yeah. Um, I've been asking everybody... Um, what are you going to remember most about this show? Um, shit. <laughs> what am I, shit, I'm going to remember shit. Well, last time, always last time she said that she's going to miss penis about American Idiot. So. I did. I did. I flat out said penis. Um, <laughs> I'm going to miss penis. No, just, um, no, I'm going to miss... I'm going to miss how well everyone gets along backstage. Like, honestly, every yes. single person. Yeah. Um, uh, but I think what I'm going to miss most is acting out oh, yeah. scenes yeah. Oh, yeah. backstage with Todd well, yeah. and Julie losing her shit. Yeah, the, Julie said as much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> funny. Because, yeah, wow. she loses her mind, and it's yeah. so worth it. I love it. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on an awesome show. Break legs over the, this closing weekend. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, of course. No. We'll see ya. All right, Jeremy, you are bartending right now, but I'm going to steal you for a second. How are you doing? It's closing weekend. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. Good. Awesome. Well, yeah, um, like I said to Steina, who's standing right here, um, I've I've been asking everybody what you're going to remember most about this show. So what are you going to remember the most? I remember Bree's boyfriend. Yes. Sexy Jesus. Sexy Jesus Jesus. is his name. (laughs) Um, Fiance, yes. Congratulations, by the way. I'm going to miss... I'm going to remember everybody, all the new people in this show. We actually had a lot of new people in this yeah. show, and it was a lot of fun. For sure. Was, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And, again, it's always kind of an unknown quantity if you're going to have, like, divas or whatever else that comes through. But everyone <laughs> seems to just love each other, and it's kind of – it's just really awesome. So. Michael, that's because you're not in this show. The, <laughs> thank you, Steina. All right. Well, yeah, thanks for hanging out for a second. I'll let you get of back course. to it. Thank you, sir. I love no, you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <coughs> cool. I'm here with Dallin's boyfriend Willie, who is like an honor- honorary member of the caster crew at this point. Yeah. How are you feeling since it's closing weekend? This, I, and I'm not even on the play, but I yeah. will tell you that it's it's sad because it's hard to find a group of people that you have so much. <laughs> well, the musical. My my apologies. I'm not I'm not theater it's folk. Not, yeah. Come on, guys. Sorry, you gotta cut have, some slack. I have all called them plays for a second, so. <laughs> I haven't gone native yet, but um, um, yeah, I haven't seen so much camaraderie. Is that the word? Mm-hmm. Camaraderie? My Spanglish? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Camaraderie. Esta persona que escucha en español, saben que camaraderia. There it is. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, everyone gets along so well here, and it feels like family. It doesn't feel like like you're just going to do your 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 musical. Let's yep. Make clear it's a musical, um, and then just go home. No, everyone looks forward to having a good time during the show, before the show, after the show. Uh-huh. It's like family. Outside so of show it. days, I don't know. Did you go to the show last night that everyone else went to? Yeah, I had so the crazy. honor. I had the honor, the honor of being. I think I broke his hand. Slightly like, disappointed, like but it was all good. I, I really like it. I was just expecting more people to show up to that show. That's, gotcha. Because I seriously had a great time mm-hmm. when when they had the final numbers and everything, just jumping around, just singing. I just felt like they need more seats. They need more butts in those seats. Yeah, mm-hmm. gotcha. Cool. Well, what are you going to remember as, as just a, like a kind of uh, audience member about this show in particular? 
Julie. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, man. See? No, yeah. she, it's, she it's true. Is... She's, got, she's got a hold on this cast for sure. One thing is to have your main cast member or one of the main cast members, like, just be on the play and not socialize with everyone because, you know, a lot of people can get, like, that big head of, you know. Right. No, she is, oh, it's a delight. I just love talking to her, just listening to her sing is, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Well, yeah, I hope you enjoy tonight and yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks. How are those meatballs? So good. So good. The meatballs are so good. I got that in there. <laughs> shoved in my face. <laughs> Sorry, Stan. All right. <laughs> Charity. Hello. Welcome to the Mid Mill Main Street Theater podcast. <laughs> I feel like you and Dallin have been on for so long. I don't even need to introduce you, but how are you? Closing uh, weekend. How are you feeling? I feel like a fucking million dollars <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah i mean even in the cast who's like having fun doing the show they're like yeah i'm ready to kind of be done so yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah it makes sense well cool i've just been asking everybody um what are you going to remember most about this show i'm gonna remember being heavily intoxicated watching mom i'm gonna yeah. say you're, you're gonna remember not remembering yeah anything. i'm gonna remember um that i never want to just kidding uh i'm just gonna remember that we always had fun up here in the booth um and that tech work is really freaking hard it is it's so much harder than you think and you got it and um yeah i'm gonna remember that cool well i'm gonna run back and call places so here we go places <gasps> <laughs> so glad I pressed record right there. <laughs> I caught Jason. He's here with us tonight. Me. Yep. <laughs> how are you? How are you feeling tonight? I feel so good. good. I am so proud of this group. Yeah. And I, I just love this cast. And like me, getting with them, everyone yesterday. Like I just had such a fun. And they like connected so much since yeah. I saw them last. It's just been such fun. Awesome. Time. Well, yeah. I mean, that kind of leads into what I've been asking everybody tonight. <laughs> um, everyone. Like, the theme of what I've been talking about with everybody is just how much they love each other and everything like that. But, um, <laughs> what, like, what... Not Charity. She doesn't yeah, love anybody. Charity's... Charity She's a bear. A, <laughs> Dallin, how did you uh, say black shitty heart? That applies black to Charity as well. I have a black shitty heart. That's, <laughs> That's what right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Matching, well... <laughs> Mine's beige, so it's fine. It's there you go. <laughs> well, what is your beige heart going to remember the most about in this show? The people. The people. I mean, it's cliche, and everyone talks about it. Sure. But like, I've just I bonded with everyone in this cast. I've known a lot of I've known. I've That's known where I'm at, people. <laughs> I've known a lot of people um, before this, but like the new people I've known mm-hmm. that I've got to meet. Um, the energy we talked about, I talked about last time. I'm sorry, but like, just the energy of this cast just kept connecting. Um, and then kept growing and seeing them tonight it just continued so yeah for sure it's been awesome well awesome and you know you did amazing with the music direction and everything like that so it was, it's an awesome show congratulations on a great show Thank you. yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> thanks Jason all right guys we finally have her the woman the myth the legend Tammy Ross how are you doing I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, um, it's closing weekend, so you know I'm sure there's a lot of yes emotions. She's even pantomiming those, but yeah. How has your show been? How's it been for you? Oh my gosh, this has been the most amazing show I think we've done in a really long time. Yeah, it's just it's so crazy, like seeing how many people are on stage, even, but just like everything that's been going into this show. I'm sure it's exhausting, but it's uh, you know fun and everything like that. So. Yeah, um, I guess what I've been asking everybody, um, what are you going to remember most about this show specifically? Oh my gosh, what I'm going to remember most about the show, I think, are the the dynamics between the cast and the bonding that has happened between this group of people. We always get that with every show, but and Sophie pops in to say hello because oh, I'm who everyone's gonna miss the most. Exactly. You are who everyone's especially gonna when miss I'm the heavily most. medicated, especially when it's it's your daughter and you're gonna be seeing well, her around still. Yeah, no, she's yeah. gonna miss me the most. Exactly, I she am. won't see me for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. I know. Julia's gonna drive my car home. Okay. Okay. Um, I feel like the bonding that's happened between this cast is beyond what's ever happened with any cast uh, here at the theater. And it's kind of a magical thing. 
I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. But well, it's it's funny because a lot of the cast members have been saying the same kind of thing, and it's always such a weird roll of the dice. Like we, you could get some really not so great people, but you've got like the best cast in the world. It seems like I would not change one person in this cast from ensemble to leads. I would not change a single person anywhere because they are absolutely perfect. Yeah. I mean, what does it say that I'm not in this cast, you know? But it's... <laughs> Michael, that is not for me not trying I, I to get know. you to be in this I cast. Know. Well, Mr. I don't like Mamma Mia. <laughs> and now I'm here every single night. <laughs> no, I love it. Well, thank you so much for, you know, hanging out for a second. We're going to get you on for a longer interview when you have some time, but you're going to jump right into the next show. We are so, jumping right into the next show. Yeah. We're jumping, jumping right into the next junior show. Right. And into Disenchanted, yeah. which... Is going to be phenomenal. Yeah. That I, is an exciting show. Yeah. Like the little Utah premiere, mm-hmm. some amazing people from our casts previously, and a couple of new people. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited for that show. Awesome. So. Well, good. I'm excited yeah. to see it, you know, yeah. because I'm, I'm not really familiar with it and everything, but it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, thanks so much. Meow. Hey, guys. Um, it is me, and it's in intermission. I'm kind of sitting in the booth right now by myself. Um, and I've been going around and asking everybody what is what they're going to remember about the show and everything. Um, and it just kind of struck me as I was doing that. Um, what I'm going to remember about this show and this cast in particular. It's just I'm going to remember how... How am I going to say this? How much they love this show and they love each other and they love the audience. Um... You know, it's it's funny. I'm sure that you guys, you know, as you as you've been listening to these podcast episodes and everything, um, have heard how how this is not my favorite show. This is not something that I'm super into. But um, you know, I've just been struck and amazed at how much everyone else is in love with the show. If that makes sense, um, you know, it's just not something that you really tend to um respect i guess not respect but um you just don't even really think about it that much how much even if it's not something that you're super into um how much everyone else responds to it like i go back and listen to our tales from the tech booth episode and i listen to some of the crowd reactions to this and they are just loving the show even tonight uh friday night before we close everyone is just super into the show super loves it um and yeah just it it reminds me and what I'm going to remember about the show is why theater is so important um, because Mamma Mia is not a like hard-hitting show by any means it doesn't ask the big questions or anything like that but um, it still has affected everybody's lives whether it be cast members crew members audience members um, in such a positive way you know so I think that what I want to remember and what I hope we all as performers and audience members can remember is that this is why we do it to you know brighten people's lives and to kind of share that love and that passion and empathy you know all the good words all the good feel words um you know we want to share that with people and we want to experience that too so um yeah what I hope you guys take away from it is that um just to you know, share your love, share your passion, share your empathy with everybody. Um, because it's been, it's been a truly life changing is a big word, but it's been a truly life changing experience to see so much love and passion from this cast and crew. So, um, let me just personally say congratulations to the cast of Mamma Mia. You guys have had an awesome run and an awesome show. You should all be super proud of it, but you should mostly be proud of the love and empathy and passion and energy and, like I say, all the good words that you've been able to give to everybody over these last five weeks. So congratulations. You have an awesome show. Hope you guys are proud of it. Hope you look back on this with, you know, a... a fond uh memory i guess i'm not the most articulate so i'm gonna go now but yeah um hope you guys have enjoyed it because me in the tech booth i have very much enjoyed it thank you guys 
As always, the Midvale Main Street Theater podcast is sponsored, funnily enough, by the Midvale Main Street Theater. <laughs> Check out new and exciting updates on everything going on at the Midvale Main Street Theater by going to www.midvaletheater.com or check them out on Facebook and Instagram at Midvale Main Street Theater. You can find show notes and much more by going to our podcast's Facebook page at facebook.com slash mmstpodcast. Special thanks to Ashley Howell, Joel Clark, and Matthew Petrucci for help making this show happen. I owe you guys the world. I've been Michael Howell, and this has been the Midvale Main Street Theater Podcast. The views expressed have been mine alone and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Midvale Main Street Theater, its owners, or volunteers. If you've liked what you've heard today, please consider finding the Midvale Main Street Theater podcast on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, or whatever podcast listener you're using and dropping us a five-star review. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at MMST Podcast. Thank you very much, and until next time, we'll see you.